welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. Thanks a million for joining me. I hope you're doing okay. Today is Sunday and my Sunday is always grocery hauls and then meal prepping or just snack prepping for the week ahead. So that is what I've got for you today. Um, first of all, I will show you guys a couple of hauls that I've got. I've got two. I went into the store to get some bits and pieces because we're finding that things that we really do need, we're not always getting in our delivery shop. So I want to just grab a couple of things while I was there. So I've got that one for you. And also our delivery from this morning. I'm also going to talk to you guys about meal preps and what my plans are for the week. If you're not already, press the subscribe button. I make these videos every week and um, weekly weigh-ins as well and usually like a full day of eating or I did last week if uh, thank you so much for your feedback. I did a what I ate for dinner every single day Monday to Friday and that was really really cool and fun so I might do that again. Um, but I will show you guys the grocery hauls and then we'll talk about what's cooking. So this is Saturday. Um, I, I went out because I had also got, not pictured here because I left it in another room, a bag of litter because we were really struggling to get it on our delivery. So I thought I'm not going to get annoyed again tomorrow if it does or doesn't come. So I thought I was going to get some. Paul was out of pop, so I thought I'd grab some. And there's some other bits and pieces. I had a little Peru. So I went to Boots, The Chemist, Sainsbury's and Aldi um, because they're all like in a little um, retail park. So I went to all of them. So uh, let's start with this end. Aldi, grab some of their meaty sticks, which are really helpful. We both like these and they're cheap and cheerful. They're cheaper than anywhere else, so they're good. Pack of this like regular turkey. You know when you just put your hand in the fridge and just grab some stuff? This is perfect. It's only one eighty nine. It's just very basic, straightforward, and the cats eat it, poor eat it. We all eat it. So for one eighty nine, you can smash through it and it's not a problem. Also grab some corned beef as well, um, because it's for snacking. This is not, there's a little bit of clearance today, but it was so busy. Um... But thanks off this crunchy salad thing, which I thought looked really nice. Doesn't it look lovely? So um, I grabbed that. And we're going to have that tonight with some of these pork shoulder steaks with some spicy Nando Peri Peri seasoning on it. It's going to blow our faces off like last time. Um, I've got these ball, like fake crunchies. Yeah, fake crunchy, crunchy. No, toffee crisp. Fake toffee crisp. Um, more fish. Who even am I? I'm not really a fish lover. But I'm trying to eat it because obviously the, the Omega Freeze and things. And this is on half price. So... That would be a nice little snack, um, probably Monday or something like that. You know, I don't do dates, so it'll be fine. Grabbed a four pack of ready to eat avocados um, for some for meal prep and some for just for snacking on and salads and stuff like that. Also, some celery part of meal prep, and again, just to have to snack. A couple of little bits on clearance. I'll probably have this now, to be honest with you. I'll, um, probably put some chaffles on the toaster and have some, some um, cream cheese and ham or something like that. I've got these, um, I was looking for the mozzarella slices because I just struggled to get them, but I saw this and I think I'm just going to smash through and snack on those. I did see um, uh, Mary, Mary, Mary Takita, go and subscribe to her, um, she makes rangoons with these where she'll put them in the oven, melt them and then flip them and then remelt them with stuff in the middle of them, looks good, so I might do that. Um, last week I made some fat bombs with um, some, the Manny Life, is it Manny Life pick? peanut butter i made it with some peanut butter in it and it was real good oh, it was the macadamia um peanut pe macadamia nut butter um and i really liked it so i thought i'll make another batch but i just grabbed this peanut butter here deep roast i thought that'd be good because they've got me through the week i have to say they were so nice and not too much and i was able to control myself i've had 12 in a week um so i might make some more just, just another package of chocolate Iron brew for me. I've been really enjoying this and it's good to have something that's not caffeinated. So um, I grabbed another one of these. For I have got a soda stream. I do like it for water. Grab this just to have if we run out of pop or I want to try it, see if it how economically is and how obviously it's better for the environment to make your own. So I'm going to try that. Just some shampoo, face wash and a little Bari bar from Boots. And also grab some more baggies. Um, because I do meal preps, I do keep leftovers, I do try not to food waste, so I do need bags and things like that. Um, there you go. And there's a little, little block of cheese and posh cat food for the cats. They while I was putting this out, they could hear the sounds of me doing this, and they were yelling at me. Absolutely yelling. So I had to give them one. There was another one, but they would not shut up screaming because I love them so much. And that is my wee little haul from in-store Sainsbury's and Aldi. And it's the Sunday delivery. This is from Sainsbury's. Um, we get it delivered most Sundays if we can get a slot. And this was about £80 and we got everything apart from one swap. So that was pretty good. 
So um, I live with my partner, if you don't know, if you've never been with me before, hello. Um, and I, obviously he doesn't eat keto, I do. We've got a couple of cats, we eat everything. Um, and I'll show you guys what we've picked up for our shop. Starting with the keto friendly end, I've got a dozen eggs, which I get every week now. I'm getting better, I'm not a biggest egg fan, so I'm getting better with eggs. They are a good, uh, good source of protein and good fats and they're very economical, so I'm trying to eat more. I don't know how, but I bought lots of cheeses. I, I think I'm up, I don't think it's supposed to be mine. It seems like quite a lot, but I'll take it. Um, so that's good as well. Got some more ugly peppers. These are the ones that are imperfect, which they look fine to me, they taste good. And I grabbed some onions, which are not very keto, but I do have them in moderation. And I'm going to be using some on a recipe today. I got some Alpro chilled, um, which you can, um, for um, coffee and stuff. And I also bought myself a cold brew just to give that a little go. I may have one of those a bit later on. I do love my cold brew. Usually when it's really hot, though, and I'm sweating and I love a nice cold brew. But I, I'm, 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 I'm feeling it. I've got a selection of, like hams and things i don't think i don't remember ordering all this either i don't think that's mine so i think i might have stolen some of you shopping um but we've got a selection of hams and things like that and between all the four of us the kid and the kittens that will be demolished i've got some fresh coriander which is for the recipe that i am doing today and some sour cream will go with that too also grabbed some fresh chilies i really like having these last time they're not that hot though so that's the only option i've got for chilies though um but again that's for a recipe I've got some of the um, extra thick cream, and this is like the lowest one you can get in a can. Um, I have to be really careful with cream because I get a little bit um, tippy and a bit handsy. But for a portion, 0.3, I think that's pretty good. Um, which you just grab it with jelly, um, that's fine. Salad cream and a tin of tomatoes. Do you get half tins? Because I was thinking there should be half tins for like when you only want a little bit. Uh, I don't even need half a tin, so I think I'm gonna have to freeze the other half. Um, more cream cheese, can't go wrong with that. And some burgers. Um, didn't don't remember getting the reduced fat ones, but I think there's like a carb. These are very low, and we're having these tonight. Paul is going to be cooking them. I haven't uh, told him that. They're one point one carb each, which is great. So I'll have two of those. Some chaffle buns, um, and I think I've got some salad left over from yesterday. So I'll have a burger chaffle salad, which is very healthy. Some not healthy. Half a kilo of cooking bacon, which is all like miscuts and misfits, but it tastes just good. That I put that pot in the oven, so that'll probably be next week. Um, and then moving on to Paul's stuff, my partner's non keto stuff. Um, he wanted a prawn salad for this week, so I got some frozen prawns and some um, mix, ba mix bag, and also some potato salad to go with it as well. He likes that. I got him buns to go with his burgers, and then I'll probably freeze the rest for the next time he fancies some burgers. I got four little puddings, um, because he likes them, they're delicious, they are delicious. Um, delicious and obviously his usual harry bobs and his mints porky pies um with pickle very nice crispies a loaf blessing the driver was like that's not good enough that's just not good enough and he, he gave me a refund on it because it was a bit squished he said i was like oh it's fine it's fine it's just a little bit dented he said no no would you pick that up in the supermarket i'm serious you would not pick that up that's just not good enough and he, he was like okay mate he gave me a refund <laughs> i wasn't that fast um and a couple of these little naans because they're really great for freezing super freezing and you just pop them in the toaster um when the little diddy ones like that so it's good to have when what has a curry i've got some frozen ones in the freezer for him so he just grabs out a frozen curry i made three months ago a couple of those and he's, he's set really which is good stuff for the kittens um yeah they, yeah they'll eat all sorts and then i've got some non-food stuff washing powder uh, a spare liquid and some shampoo for paul millions of pups as always i'm really enjoying this at the moment and it's good because it is obviously no sugar but also no caffeine so i'm trying to improve my sleep situation um i think most people are struggling with their sleep have been for the last year um so i'm just trying to do a little few active things to help me tackle that and some lovely toilet roll and there you go and a couple of cats um and that is my groceries for this week so it's Saturday night and um, I had my dinner. I had that lovely pork uh, covered in loads of chilli stuff and loads of salad. It was delicious. And now I'm going to get a jump start on tomorrow's meal prep. So all I've done, I've got a couple of bits I'm going to get done. Um, first of all, I made the jelly. Nothing exciting. I used a pack of the, um, the US Jello, uh, proper Jello, lemon, and I used a packet of orange and doubled it up. So I've got orange and lemon. I'm always a bit dubious about um, the American stuff. And no offence, it's just because I'm allergic to some of the ingredients that are not actually allowed to have in uk foods and it's actually present in usa food so i'm a bit and i think this might make me i might be allergic to this one i'm allergic to e102 
so we'll see how I react to that but I wanted to use it up so I've got some jello pots ready to go I'm also I'm gonna do a repeat of last week loves I'm sorry to sorry my darlings but it was so good it was so easy and so helpful I'm gonna make some fat bombs dark chocolate blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna throw in some rooftop and probably a flavoring and then some coconut oil microwave it so it goes all nice and gooey pop it in a little bit half of it in freeze it a little tablespoon of peanut butter on top back in the freezer and then once that's set it takes about 10 minutes in between each thing the final layer of chocolate so you get a triple layer you get chocolate butter and then another chocolate on top and then once literally take like 45 minutes pop them out of the mold and keep them in the freezer i made like 14 last week and i finished the last one off today oh they're so good um but they were a bit of a lifesaver I, I really like them um i'm not a fan of dark chocolate as you know but I put some sweetener in it and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. And I will grab something out of my... This is my bag. I need to change this of flavours and, and sweeteners and things like that. I might do chocolate orange. Um, so I've got some chocolate orange to use up. So maybe I'll use that one. These things here, obviously get them from the supermarket. But also I've got loads of these off eBay. Just put into eBay food flavouring. And you'll get like 10 for like £5 or something stupid. Um, and this is a chocolate orange one. No, it's not. It's not banoffee pie. I forgot about you. Maybe I'll make a banoffee pie flavour. Anyway, so I'm just going to get that. I did get this originally from this book from uh, Martina. Um, it's, it's the most basic fat bomb she has in here. Um, looks like one of them. So yeah, um, and that's in my link in my Amazon store below if you wanted to grab that book. But I'm just going to get all these done in the freezer. And I think that's going to be it for tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll crack on with the rest of my meal prep. So this last couple of weeks has kind of turned into a bit of a freezer clearing challenge inadvertently because here in the UK we're in lockdown and we're hoping, fingers crossed, that things will start to ease up uh, in the next wave in about four weeks time and that means the gyms are open so I want to be ready so I can just go down the gym in the evening, not worry about any cooking or anything like that. So I want to have my freezer full of ready meals all ready for me to go. And that does mean cleaning some things out that I've got sitting there. So last week I ate quite a lot of, I just cooked every single day, like bits of fish and things like that. There's a couple of things in the freezer that I wanted to clear. Um, one was a carton of homemade beef broth. Another was some, some beef uh, mince that I got on yellow sticker, obviously. I love my yellow stickers, by the way. Um, and so I wanted to clear those this week. So one of my recipes that I've done is using those, and that's taco soup. I've seen this recipe around forever, for years, and I've never done it because I just don't really fancy it. But hopefully this is going to change my mind. I think it's going to be quite heavy and quite rich. The portions need to be quite small. Um, and what I'm hoping to do is to have just two for the week and then pop, pop a couple in the freezer for the coming couple of weeks when I start want to start building up my little stash. Also, snacks. Um, I went to Aldi to get some of those rulitos, those little bits of cheese with, with a little bit of pepperoni or something wrapped around them in a tray, perfect snacking thing for a keto person. They haven't got any, um, and so I thought I'd make my own. I've got plenty of that stuff, so I'm gonna make a batch of those. I've got some jelly pots, which I actually made last night, some more fat bombs, which are, were amazing last week as well, and just do some eggs just to get me going. So nothing really earth shattering this week, but I will share with you guys the taco recipe. I'll just turn you guys around and show you what I am following. So there is lots of recipes online for a taco soup. This is a one, I think it's from Gimme, it's Gimme, Gimme Delicious, I think it is. GimmeDelicious.com. I'll link this below for you. This is the one I just settled on. Um, when I was reading the comments, the review's like 4.7 out of 42 votes. So it's like, he does hit really high. Um, but some of the comments then like the, the macro seemed really off to them. Um, and one of the reasons I probably is because it does include chopped tomatoes and onions and things like that. So it can't, probably will depend on the brand you're using. I'm a bit reluctant to use a full can of tomatoes. One, well, I don't really like tomatoes anyway. I only like them cooked in little, tiny little pieces. Um, so I'm thinking I might use half a can and just use some of this paste to give me that stronger flavour, which has more bang for your buck if you use a puree, um, I find when I look at the macros. Um, I've got my homemade beef broth, which looks gross. It's been in the freezer, but that's just the fat that from... Um, I actually did a piece in the slow cooker and I kept it. My reduced mint. I try not to pay full price for mints because it just seems to be always the thing that gets reduced. So I've got that. Um, I'm also going to put some celery in it, which is not an ingredient. You guys have been me for a while. You know I make things up as I go along. You love it. <laughs> I've got a pepper, um, half, probably half an onion because I'm using that celery and my chilies, and then just all the um, homemade uh, fajita taco seasoning, which I've got grabbed stuff out of the thing there. 
and I'm just going to throw it in the pan. I'm not really going to follow this too closely. To make it creamy and um, delicious as well, you, you would use a pack of or some cream cheese. Um, and again, I think this is probably why the macros are people coming and saying that it's really off. Some people were finding it was down as like four or five. Some people were saying it was as high as 11 per portion and the portions were too small or too big. So I'm just going to do as I feel and basically um, chop my onion and fry it off in the pan with the mince, get it nice and brown. Um, let it simmer with my stock, tomatoes, cream cheese and all the seasonings. And then I think that's pretty much done. It's pretty straightforward. Um, they said prep time is 10, which is chopping and then cook time 25. That's what you want, really. Make four portions, four dinners for like half an hour. Bang. Beautiful. And I've got my bits and pieces out. I've got my eggs, which I've actually already cooked. I'm just going to shell these guys. And I'll be having one of these for lunch every day with some of these rolled up. If rolled up salamis with a piece of cheese and they're all just on their own on the side i've got quite a lot of um meaty things I, I have not been eating them so i need to have like a, a deli platter for lunch every day next week um, and i've also got some porridge a uh, keto porridge which i've got in a crave kit so i think i might have some porridge in a week as hopefully the weather's about to turn warmer and porridge probably won't be the thing that i'm after um so yeah i will leave the link below for this crave kit people if you want to subscribe there's going to be a link below for you for my it's the monthly subscription box for keto stuff and it's a discount code for you below Jackie 15. Um, I know a lot of you guys subscribe anyway. Um, but yeah, that is below for you as well. So I'm just going to get chopping and cooking and um, get this taco soup on the go. Here we are so far. I've got my beef mince. Um, just cooking in the fats that it comes in. And my green pepper, my celery um, and my garlic. And what I've been doing, I've been putting it onto my fitness pal, which is where I track, um, and just seeing as it's as I'm adding things, how it's affecting. I've got a couple of chilies to add in as well. Yes, with the seeds. Um, and so far with, with that, it's 2.7 per portion over four. But it's not too bad at the moment. That's without tomatoes though. So I'm thinking by the time I add in the tomatoes, if I use the whole can, um, I'm going to be looking around about the five carb mark. And that is really good. Um, of course, I do like to have yeah, uh, fixings on your on your taco soup, haven't you? So um, avocado, cheese, jalapenos as well. So I am bearing in mind there's going to be fixings on the side of this. Um, so I, I'm pretty satisfied if I use the whole can and obviously it may be more liquid than that. I might have a stock cube. I think I'm pretty satisfied with how many carbs this is going to be. So I'm just going to carry off, fry it, add these chilies in um, and just keep testing it and tasting it and see how it go. And then the last step is going to be to add in the cream cheese to give it that creamy, rich texture. So I've let this simmer um, as it was for about 20 minutes to make sure those veggies are nice and cooked. And I'm just going to stir in the cream cheese to make it nice and rich. And I think that's it. I'm going to let it cool down so I can um, put it in containers. It's not overly runny, not too thick. It's kind of in between a... a taco of chili and um a soup really it's kind of in the middle but i think that's going to be really rich i've tasted it i'm happy with the way it tastes i did not end up using half of that can of tomatoes i didn't feel comfortable with it and i don't think it was necessary either i think it's absolutely fine with using half of a can and save ourselves some carbs um and i think a quarter of this which i think is a good portion size is going to be seven carbs so once you've had your fixings in avocado grated cheese some jalapenos I think you're looking at probably about nine. Um, so I think that's going to be a really reasonable, um, very filling and rich dinner. Um, and I, should, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to have two in a week and then two in the freezer just to have build up my little stash of ready meals. Now I'm just going to spend 15 minutes or so just prepping my rollitos. I've got a little selection of all sorts of half, half to eat and stuff and a couple of different cheeses. I think what we're going to do as well, once that's done, I'm just going to grate whatever's left of it and put it into a baggie because we tend to eat cheese grated and we prefer it. And of course, of course you can buy um, pre-grated cheese, but one, it's more expensive. And two, it's got potato starch usually or rice starch in it, so it doesn't clump, um, which is great if you're not counting carbs, but it does have carbs into it. So I would rather have grate my own and I'm lazy. So I'd rather just do it in one big go and bag it up. But let's turn you guys around and have a little, little catch up. So it's a bit dark. I haven't got really got a better corner and I need to dig out some sort of tripod situation. But um, I know other YouTubers make very high calibre, super edited um, videos. I don't, I just don't get the time, I don't get the time. And it's not because I don't care. It's just because between working full time and all that stuff and trying to exercise and things, I just don't get the time to sit in front of a laptop and do my editing. So they're a bit rough. I am sorry. Um, 
So, but yeah, anyway, how are you doing? Uh, though some of you guys have mentioned about my garden. Thank you very much for all your interest. It's peeing it down. So I, I was, I kind of my mind sort of thought, today I'll get out there. My, my, my meal prep is actually quite like minor and easy. So I thought, oh, I can get a, a cheeky hour or two out there, but it's just chucking it down. And when you wear glasses in the rain, it's not much fun. So um, the weather's supposed to make a good turn um, in the week. So hopefully I'll be able to get out there and do my therapy time. I've got some plans. I've kind of set up a little goal to do a specific task, which I'll show you um, out there. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much all that's happened with me. I've been on track um, this week. I've not breached my goal of 20 grams of carbs per day. My exercise has not been stellar, but I have done something every day, like something small, like just 20 minutes uh, to get myself back into the flow of um, fitness. So I think that has been um, good for me. Um, and that's pretty much it with me. Hope you're doing all right, guys. Um, hope the end is nigh. It's, I, try, I try to keep an eye on the news. I don't like the media. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't like them, I don't trust them, I think they are quite disgusting um, and the way that they treat people. So I, I tend to have an overview of all news and then sort of try to pick through the, think, the facts um, and I'm trying to pick up on what's happening globally with different countries and, and things like that. So I hope wherever you are, things are taking a positive turn. Um, I am booked in for the thing that everyone needs to have, hopefully will have um your choice of course but i am booked in to have mine on friday which is weird because i i all this run up to this stuff we've been a case of you know um most important people first you know the people most at risk so people that could get you know have graver consequences if they do get it and um paul is on loads of medications like he's got I don't know, heart medication things like that so we always thought he'll be first and i'll probably follow up a month later and I've been done first. Um, it just said, I had a text message, it said, oh, um, due to um, existing conditions, and the only condition I've got, I'm not on any pills, I've got nothing else going on, is my obesity. So I have been pulled out before, or who's on heart medication, my friend who's got really chronic, dangerous asthma, um, I messaged him last night, he's like, no, I haven't had mine yet. Um, my other friend, she's got a heart condition, she's not had hers yet, it's just really odd. Um, so I'm not going to turn it down. I've got to do my bit. But yeah, so that's that Friday. So again, another reason why I'm doing all this is so that if next, because I, I've read, of course, that some people are absolutely fine after um, they have it. Um, some people feel quite unwell. Just for a couple of days, they feel like flu symptoms um, or they just feel tired. Um, you know, they just feel like they're absolutely wiped. So I'm anticipating that if that happens to me, at least I've got stuff. Um, and I am ready. That's for my peppered salami, by the way. <laughs> BTW. I'm going to do some chorizo. Chorizo. Chorizo now. Um, so, yeah, that is for Friday. So, hopefully, I will be all okie cokey on Friday. But if it doesn't, I wake up Saturday and I'm not okay. Or next Sunday and I don't feel like meal prepping, I will have some things, uh, at least, ready to, to go. And I should be absolutely fine. So, yeah, that is my little update. Sorry if that's upsetting for anyone. Unfortunately, the real world keeps turning, doesn't it? Um, I have read that like things like crime and stuff are, are, are dropped dramatically. The flu has not appeared this year, which is incredible because that's that also is deadly, um, depending on your situation. Um, so there are some things that are more positive out of this last year of horrid. So I'm just trying to keep all the positive stuff going. Anyway, I'm going to finish this stuff off um, and I will, when I'm all done, I'll flip you guys round and show you all of my prep. And there is everything done. It looks very orange, doesn't it? <laughs> I did not plan this. I did not think this through. So I've got my jelly pots, which are ready to go. Nice little dessert. I've got my little five hard boiled eggs all shelled. I've got my Rolitos and there's loads here. And this probably cost me about five pounds. But if I was to buy them pre-packaged, it probably cost me about eight or nine. So I've actually saved quite a lot of money doing this. And I'm going to put the lid on, keep them in the fridge so they firm up and keep sort of together. They kind of unravel if you don't. So there's those as well. I've got my fat bombs. I ended up doing banoffee flavour, uh, chocolate banoffee 
with that peanut butter in the middle. Peanuts, by the way, um, are not keto friendly. They're actually legumes, so they don't, uh, they're not actually considered keto. Um, you can use an oven nut butter, or if you're not too fast, I'm not too fast, I will use that. Just try to choose one that's no added anything. This one, the brand I got was just peanuts and salt. There was nothing else added in, so it keeps it nice and tight. Um, there's a tablespoon each in each of those, but they are good. And I've got that taco soup um, ready to go as well. So um, without any extras on it, that's about seven carbs, which is fine. It works for me. I've got my avocado, jalapenos, my grated cheese I've got already. Um, and I've also got some coriander as well. So I'm just going to have that in the week. These are hardly anything, probably a platter of those with other bits of ham and stuff that I picked up and I've accumulated. Probably looking at about two or three carbs. Um, nothing really for the jellies. And these are 3.6, I think, if I remember rightly. So um, yeah, that is me all planned out for the week. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you're having a lovely week. Let me know what you're cooking for next week. And if you're not already, press that sub button and hopefully that likey likey button. And let me know how you're getting on. And I will see you guys in the next video.